Good afternoon, St. Mary's. I hope you are doing well today. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to read a quote that I found um, in my email today that I think speaks to a lot of people. Uh, and, yeah, it just kind of struck me, so I'll read it. So, God only asks for one thing at a time, never two. It doesn't matter whether the job we have in hand is sweeping the kitchen floor or giving a speech to 40,000 people. We must learn to put our hearts into it simply and calmly and not try to solve more than one problem at a time. So I think uh, I think that's just kind of like a beautiful reflection as far as what are we called to be and do uh, with our lives, right? I think it's, it's good to be intentional, right? Because uh, I think a lot of times we can just um, be racing through life or the world can just be racing through life. And um, what, is, what is the way that God is asking us to live? And it really kind of breaks it down just one thing at a time, and do the best that we can, you know, and we make that an offering to God. So, for example, me working on emails all day, that's what I'm called to do. Like, that's what God uh, is asking of me. And if I do that well and I kind of make that into a prayer, an offering to God, uh, and then I'm living my life. If I do that all the time perfectly, then I live my life perfectly, right? So that's just kind of, that's the beauty of the Christian life. It's just like, it's very simple and no matter where we are, God wants to meet us there, right? He wants to live, uh, he wants to share our lives with him. And, uh, and it's just kind of uh, an amazing journey that we get to take, you know, throughout our lives. It gives us meaning. It always adds a dimension to our lives that other people don't have. I mean, it's just, that's the beauty of the Catholic, Catholic faith, the Christian faith, is that, um, that we have a God uh, that is willing to accept everything that we give him. Uh, and turn it into something beautiful for eternity, right? So it's kind of a, uh, yeah, it's kind of a mystery, but uh, I do enjoy reading Jacques Philippe. So uh, I got to use that to segue. So pretty soon we're coming up on Advent. So Advent is just like an awesome time. I love Advent. I love Lent. So I'm just kind of a strange character. Uh, I'm the only person that I know that says that. But uh, at the same time, it's really just like an opportunity. Um, our happiness depends on how well uh, we're living our lives united to Jesus or how well uh, our our lives are uniting us to God like it is it is that is the key right that is the answer to our happiness our hearts have this space in, in in them that was made for God so only God can fill that space and so the more we uh, live our lives the more we kind of clear out from our hearts you know all the things that kind of uh, take away from um, our relationship with God or they kind of get in the way of us having a relationship with God, uh, the happier we are. It is always the case. Whenever I get to the end of Lent, where I'm going through Lent, I'm noticeably happier. Same thing with Advent. Um, and the symbol behind Advent is that, you know, Jesus is coming, right? Jesus is going to be born. Mary and Joseph are going through the streets of Bethlehem and they're knocking on doors uh, and they're looking for somewhere to stay, right? Mary's looking for somewhere to to, uh, to give birth to her child, right? And so we have an opportunity to kind of clear our space in our lives, you know, to say, just like take this time uh, to examine, you know, before Advent begins, where in my life uh, can I be clearing out a space for Jesus? And he's not asking for 20 hours a day, you know, like 15 minutes is what the saints say. The saints say it is God's, it is, um, it is, God demands it from justice's point of view. Like, that's what we can owe him throughout our day, right? It's 15 minutes. Uh, and it seems like a lot, but um, but there's a lot of times throughout the day, like I just kind of catch myself, just did recently, just kind of scrolling through Facebook, you know? So there's a lot of things that we can examine our day. What can I get rid of? What can I put to the side? So I can create this kind of sacred space in my day. We should always have like 15 minutes where we could sit and dialogue with God or just like sit in his presence, sit in the silence. Um, there was St. Catherine Siena said that uh, God revealed this to her, which I found is interesting, that he, can, that he can only dwell in a peaceful heart. So wh what way can we kind of find uh, an opportunity during this Advent to create a space so that God can dwell in our hearts, right? So it's just like this amazing thing, you know. I think uh, this world longs for peace and Jesus dies to give it to us, you know. But it's us who have to make that space you know, when he comes knocking at Christmas, we can just open it up and say, okay, Jesus, I'm ready to dwell. I'm ready to have you dwell in my heart. Uh, and I'm uh, looking forward to having this relationship with you. That's all that the Catholic faith is. So, so I encourage you to do that. I'm running out of time. So uh, yeah, say a preference. See why I see it starting next Thursday. So awesome. God bless you. Have a great day.